It was. So today, similar setup. More of us will have sunshine, but still looking at those lingering showers right along the Alabama state lines. So things are changing, but they're moving slow. Right now we're coming in 73 degrees here in Nashville. Your visibility is good as gold. You can see around 10 miles. Winds have shifted out of our north northeast right at six miles per hour because that system, even though it's close, I mean, we can just about touch it from Davidson County. It has moved its way southward just a hair. You head your way over into Cookville. Current temperature for y'all this morning, 70 degrees. No rain to start off. Visibility still a little wonky as we do head closer into Bedford and Marshall counties. And then you'll notice over into Murray, you just dip down to six miles. Cookville on the south side of Putnam County. That's where we're seeing a little bit of visibility issue as well as locations closer into Crossville. The Power of Five radars. They're needing a vacation because they have been hard at work with all these showers that we've been dealing with. And look at this one. This is a great example of what we're seeing. You've got this system, this boundary that is just down to our south, and it's not moving. And you'll notice with these showers, they're just spinning in place. They're giving heavy showers, then they begin to decrease, and they'll do it all over again. That's what we're seeing right now over in Hollenwald. And then we've got this one little cell. No lightning associated with it, moving its way closer into Fayetteville for the morning. So for today, like yesterday, we are looking at some locations with a flood threat. They're the ones that had received the most amount of rain over the past several. So we do have a flash flood watch in place until around 8 o'clock this morning. Areas right along the Alabama state line. We'll continue to monitor this. If things were to tick up in the way of moisture, that could change and be extended because this boundary, even though it is sagging southward, is still close enough to bring some heavy rain. So for today, it's not going to be as steady as what we experienced yesterday, but still these showers, a few embedded thunderstorms right along the Alabama state line, and then we'll get some of that wraparound moisture by the afternoon. Still looking pretty clear for you, though, if you are to the north and west. But Davidson County wouldn't be surprised if you saw a rumble of thunder as well as areas across the plateau. That is finally going to shift southward. I mean, if we could just get 30 miles to our south, it would make a world of a difference. And that's what we're looking at tomorrow. So tomorrow we'll be on the drier side as well as going into our Thursday. So here's a look over the next seven days. 87 degrees right here in the city. If you are closer to the Kentucky state line, you're going to get closer to 90. Areas closer to the Alabama state line, you're going to stay in the mid 80s and your rain chances are higher. Tomorrow morning, we're in the upper 60s, low 70s, a high of 90, which is typical for this time of year. Copy and paste that Thursday. Can't roll out one stray shower or two. Better rain chances will then move in for the weekend, but it's not a washout of a weekend. If you've got outdoor plans, Saturday is going to be your best bet. And then early Sunday, by Sunday night, that's when our rain showers will move back in. And Amy, you can tell we're hovering right around average in the low 90s, but feeling like those upper 90s.